free after use. I thought that was really funny. Can you tell us about that specific vulnerability, what happened there and how um, the listeners can look for a similar vulnerability? Yeah, uh, basically there I was looking for authoriz authorization issues like IDOR and all that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was tricky to find IDORs because they are so common that are fit uh, very quickly. So I thought, what if I just access, uh, basically the concept free after use is looking for moments where the application does uh, some weird stuff when a, a, a specific user accesses a, a, a specific resource. In this case, an, an owner of a resource access uh, his uh, metrics, for instance, and then mm -hmm. uh, I, I could basically, when it, when the owner accesses the metrics, everyone can access the metrics. It's like uh, when they, nice. that, that's why I called it a, a what is called a free, free after, after use. use. The user, Not use after free. the owner uses the, 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 the component and it is free, like then it becomes free for everyone. That's hilarious, man. So I, I think I think this is a pretty niche scenario. I, I have seen it before for sure, where you know some routes will just be for some reason um, like presented like that. It's an authorization issue. Um, but w one of the other places where you often see this is caching related vulnerabilities, right? Like if there is a server at some point and somewhere that is caching whatever resource and then serving it, you know, and another person hits that resource. Um, once it's already in the cache, then it's not hitting any of the backend logic. It's just presenting that same data again to the other user. Um, so very similar to web cache deception in that way. Yeah, it, it, it is really similar to that. Yeah, and I don't know that mm -hmm. I think it. He's like, wait a second, maybe that was web cache deception, <laughs> <laughs> but I need to look at the freaking code because I need to have my proxy open. <laughs> Valentino. Oh my God, dude.